Half the fun when opting to add a well-known wrestler's exclamation point into your project comes in the form of figuring out what sort of creative and or violent way said move can be laced into the cinematic action. But I will let you decide whether or not these finishing shots added to the spectacle or took you out of the action in an instant. I'm Gareth from What Culture Wrestling and here are eight wrestlers who did their finisher in recent movies. Number 8. Keith Lee – The Main Event with the sheer amount of stock WWE, or more specifically Triple H down in NXT, put into their limitless sensation over the course of his mostly meteoric rise to superstardom on their product, it was fairly safe to assume that Vince McMahon had some rather big plans for former North American and NXT champion Keith Lee. And while that ultimately turned out not to be the case, his appearance as one of the leading faces in Netflix's tag team with WWE for their children's feature The Main Event acted as another notable notch for the charismatic superstar, taking to the NXT ring over the course of the flick as Smooth Operator, where Lee was able to nail his famed Bang Bang catastrophe in one of the film's many fun montages. Sure, the main event may be nothing more than a light and harmless slice of family fun, telling the tale of a young boy who takes on pro wrestling powers upon slipping on a luchador mask, but it still gave us a limitless Lee doing what he does best on the biggest streaming service on the planet. Number 7. Shawn Michaels – Avengers of Justice Fast Wars Keeping in the zone of children's entertainment, here's another instance of a well-known face of WWE lending their crowd-popping match ender to a flick for the good of bringing laughter to the younger generation. Seen in his frankly balmy showing in Avengers of Justice Fast Wars – yep, it's every bit as dodgy as it sounds – HBK goes full green and Yoda-esque when dealing out the ass-whoopings as <clears throat> the incredible Master Yoga. This is indeed a real movie. But if the sight of the WWE Hall of Famer donning big green ears and dishing out lines such as you must trust the farce isn't enough to convince you to give this flick a spin, then perhaps the sight of HBK executing sweet chin music in white robes will seal the deal. Hilariously, Crown Jewel 2018 is still more embarrassing than this spoofy showing, though. Number 6. Big Show Vendetta Racking up a surprisingly varied film CV over the course of 25 years on our screens, Paul White has popped up in everything from the side-splitting Waterboy to the far grittier Vendetta during his frequent excursions into Futureland. Hell, he even nearly rocked up in Gladiator at one point. This show has range, I tell ya. But it was during that aforementioned decision to lend his talents to a more violent form of cinematic entertainment in Vendetta that the world's largest athlete was given a chance to let rip one of his most notable weapons in the midst of a hard-hitting prison yard brawl. As Big Show jukes it out with Dean Cain's Mason Danvers, hot on the heels of picking off prison guards and inmates with a damn rifle, the former world champion delivers the mother of all monster chops to the leading man's chest. Now, did the sight of Danvers eating WMDs like they were M&Ms leave those WWE devotees in the audience scratching their little noggins? You betcha! But this is still the most savage show you'll likely ever witness, and makes you wonder why he wasn't presented as a merciless wrecking machine more often throughout his WWE tenure. Number 5. Batista Bushwick Arguably no other WWE star has been able to cultivate the sheer level of high quality and often varied work as Dave Batista has since deciding to focus more on the world of acting than that of dumping bloats through miscellaneous objects. From his outstanding turns as Drax the Destroyer in the MCU, to scene-stealing appearances in Blade Runner 2049 and Dune, Big Dave has proven that you don't simply have to confine yourself to big-budget action romps or B-movie fighting flicks on the back of making a name in Vinnie Mac's Empire. And in another instance of the former WWE Champion forging his own path, that he walks alone. Acting as an executive producer on a flick for the first time in his career, Batista was able to add a cute callback to his animal days into the movie mix in 2017 action thriller Bushwick. Coming as the monstrous star beats the piss out of a dude in a kitchen, instead of simply battering the guy to a pulp into the fridge, the former evolution man hoists them up and wallops them into the wood with a monumental spinebuster. These faceless goobers will never learn, will they? Number 4. Maurice, Isle of the Dead the Miz isn't the only movie star in the family, you know? And true to A-list of form, Maurice Mizanin didn't waste the chance to dish out one of her own signature full stops in one of her most notable mid-2010s roles. That being her part in slightly distorted production's 2016 flick, Isle of the Dead. With the former Divas champion throwing hands and popping caps in many an unfortunate soul's head throughout this zombie-stuffed B-movie, it was inevitable that a cheeky nod to her WWE days would eventually make its presence known. Sure enough, as Miz's Mrs. battles it out amidst the smoke, the star can be seen whacking out her trademark French Kiss DDT on an unfortunate face who opted to pick a fight with the member of the It couple. Her cinematic career may not have been as high profile as her partner's, or as heavily self-promoted for that matter, but Maurice can at least still say that she messed up a zombie with a DDT. Solid work if you ask me.
Number 3. Roman Reigns Fast and Furious Presents Hobbs and Shaw Very much keeping it in the family when it came time to spearhead Fast and Furious' first spin-off by the name of Hobbs and Shaw, Dwayne The Rock Johnson decided that now was as good a time as ever to line up alongside his own flesh and blood on the big screen in the film's climactic battle scene. Here, not only did we see current Universal Champion and undisputed Tribal Chief Roman Reigns hold his own in the thick of a pulsating fight sequence beside the Great One, but the head of the table also gets a chance to add some unashamed WWE flavor to proceedings. After first nailing an incoming baddie with a devastating Samoan drop, the big dog would execute a stunning spear in midair just for good measure too. Not to be left out, Rocky can also be spotted pulverizing a sorry son of a gun with a trusty spinebuster at one point, likely making Vinnie Mac proud as he watched on mid-heavy squat. Number 2. Ronda Rousey Fast and Furious 7 Speaking of all things Fast and Furious, a few years before she was bending Stephanie McMahon's arm into next week and lifting the Raw Women's Championship above her head, the mighty Ronda Rousey also rocked up in Vin Diesel's universe for a spell in Furious 7. Colliding with Michelle Rodriguez's badass in her own right, Letty Ortiz, the then reigning UFC bantamweight champion once again showed off her all-round masterful ass-kicking abilities on the big screen, this coming a year after her violent work on Expendables 3. Here, though, we see the first real glimpses of what would ultimately go on to become Rousey's signature finishing slam, that being the standing reverse Katagaruma. With the two ladies kitted out in dresses and heels for their hard-hitting skirmish, these restrictions still couldn't stop the baddest woman on the planet from grabbing hold of Rodriguez, lifting her onto her shoulders, and sending her flying through a wooden panel. Showcasing the full extent of her savage talents, Rousey would also lace a few more epic judo throws and some devastating kicks and punches into this skyscraping showdown too. Number 1. Charlotte Flair Psych Now to one of the stars who joined the aforementioned Ronda Rousey as one of the historic first women to ever headline a WrestleMania pay-per-view. And while it's hard to compare a blockbuster juggernaut like Furious 7 with a made-for-TV comedy, there's no questioning the fact that one Charlotte Flair more than proved she had big screen potential in her no-nonsense psych showing. It's during this movie debut from the Queen that the current reigning SmackDown Women's Champion was allowed the space to add some royal sparkle to her character's brutal toolkit. And while it's easy to get bogged down by chill-inducing lines such as my milkshake brings old ball guys to the yard, it was still hard not to pop at the sight of Flair's Heather Rock rear, locking in her trusty figure eight on an inevitably doomed idiot during a beatdown sequence in the USA flick. Eagle-eyed fans could also likely spot Flair cinching in Becky Lynch's disarm her submission at one point too, taking us back to a time when the two current bitter enemies actually used to sip tea and raise their pinkies together. 2017 feels like a lifetime ago, I know. And that's our list. Know any other wrestlers who did their finisher in recent movies? Let us know all about them in the comment section right down below, and do not forget to like, share, and click on that subscribe button. Also, be sure to head on over to whatculture.com and find some more incredible articles just like the one this video you are watching is based on. I've been Gareth from What Culture Wrestling. Thank you, as always, for clicking on this video today, and I'm sure I'll see your faces very, very soon. Bye-bye!